Look, we're getting nowhere like this. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We aren't. We are. Aren't. Are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Etc. Ad infinitum. Or until one or the other blinks. I love that sort of argument because I always defeat my opponent. Simply because I can go on and on ad infinitum and I, until I wear him or her out. It's usually him. But... <laughs> I don't, I don't tire of that kind of conversation. I don't find it the slightest bit tedious. In fact, I relish it. It's like with arm wrestling, at which I've rarely been defeated. Not because I'm bulging with biceps, but simply because I go into an arm lock, truly locked, not moving, though he, my opponent, be straining and puffing with all his might to push my arm over, but never can, for I've concentrated all my force there, while at the same time remaining very relaxed. It's something to do with the Chinese principle of qi, I suppose. And I can stay that way ad infinitum until my opponent has exhausted himself, and then I simply flip his arm over with ease. It happened like that once in the port city of Kiel in the north of Germany on the Baltic coast. I'd strayed unwisely into this dingy bar in search of a beer and had instantly regretted it as my eyes adjusted to the darkness and made out the customers in there. A bunch of drunken seamen staring at me in a hostile, belligerent manner as I made my way to the bar. And by the time I got there, it was too late to turn on my heels and beat a retreat out of there. Somewhat nervously, I ordered a beer from the landlord, who looked as villainous as the rest of them, and I was beginning to fear for my life. Do, Auslander, come here, commanded one of the commanded one of them at the table with a brutish gesture and motioned me to sit at the table of him and his leering mates. They'd been, they'd been sparring with feats of strength and this one had emerged the champion, it seemed. Fight, he barked. Fight, Auslander. And he planted his beefy, tattooed arm assertively on the table and barked into my face. Fight, Auslander. Assuming an air of macho calm, which totally belied my nervous apprehension about the menacing atmosphere in that place, I took up the challenge and immediately applied the lock at the upright. It soon became evident that what he thought was going to be a pushover with this puny Icelander was going to be otherwise as he pushed and strained and puffed tried twisting my arm and any other ruse he could think of to get the better of me, all the time sweating and cursing, Scheiser, and petitioning encouragement from his mates, who were all beginning to realise that their champion was on his way to a humiliating defeat, as I simply would not budge. Little by little I sensed his huge straining muscles, begin to slacken, and then I began my offensive. His arm became limp and lay on its back on the table, with mine on top of it. Ah, Scheiser, he muttered in defeat. And I was treated to a lot of beers after that, and pats on the back from his mates, from, his, the, from the whole drunken crew, and despite my wobbling about a bit as I walked out real tall from that dive, I was the undisputable champion. 